Hola Pisces, this is your compatibility reading for if you're in a relationship with a Capricorn, consider a relationship with a Capricorn, or just want to know in general. Um, this is a general reading. I'm basing it on sun signs, so please be sure to factor in your partner or potential partners, other signs in their chart. There is no timeline on these. They're going to be uploaded and be up indefinitely because we all go through different relationships and we'd like to know the compatibility of them and the future of them. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. I'm doing them in the order of most requested views. I mean, most views of videos <clears throat> by sign. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Of all time. So, Pisces are number two in view of videos most viewed in my channel of all time. Thank you guys for your support. Um, check the playlist frequently for other signs that I upload or and or subscribe. First portion of this will be the main cards. I'll let you know what's going on with them. For the second portion, if you want an in-depth, I'll be pulling clarifiers for about a 10 or 15 minute in Vimeo. Click the Vimeo link below to purchase if you'd like a little bit, little bit know a little bit more about your relationship with a certain sign. Um, otherwise, if this reading resonates with you, consider personal reading, read some info below, and let's get to it. So, Holy Spirit Angels, can you please show me the position, the stance, contribution of the Pisces in a Pisces-Capricorn relationship? Oh, please show me. Alrighty. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. And for the Capricorn stance or position, we have the Chariot in reverse. Can you please show me the basis of this relationship with the basis or foundation of this relationship? B, the five of wands in reverse. What lies between you guys for better or worse is the wheel of fortune in the upright. And can you please show me how they would move forward and how you guys would move forward would be the page of pentacles in reverse. Okay. I've seen better readings, but whatever. Um, also, this, this relationship is rated good. So from best to unfair, this is rated good. So it has pretty good chances to work it out. Every relationship has work or more work. And just so you know, the reason why you'd be attracted to a Capricorn, they're very patient with your personality, and you admire their practicality, okay? So over here... Your stance, your contribution in the relationship, this is interesting to me. Because immediately what I got from this card with the Eight of Wands in reverse is that you guys want to share feelings. You want to talk a lot. You want to communicate about your feelings. And I feel like um, that's not happening. That's The connection's not happening. Um, I feel like, you know, either you're, you're throwing all this stuff that you want to talk about, you want to talk about the feels, you want to go deep down or whatever, and I feel like, and I feel that's your contribution, but... Here you are throwing all this communication one way, and it's just kind of like stopping. So I feel like there's a disconnect in regards to this, um, at least in communication and communicating your feelings. I don't feel like the Capricorn is kind of um, relating to you at that level. Then over here we have the chariot in reverse with the Capricorn. So kind of what I got from that is that um, you know, the Capricorn doesn't feel feels like this relationship can get a little off track at times. Um, sometimes they might feel like um, this relationship is losing its direction, it's kind of all over the place, it's out of their control, they don't have a lot of control over you. Um, not that they're controlling, but, you know, you're such a fluid energy that, you know, it's almost hard to put you in a jar, you know what I mean? And the Capricorn over here might have some frustrations because of this or feel like the relationship is going off track because they can't kind of relate to this energy. So I'm feeling like you guys have a little bit of a disconnect in, in terms of um, communicating with one another or kind of meeting each other on the same level. You both have your share of frustrations on either side, okay? Five of Wands in reverse. Now, this is the basis of the relationship and or the foundation. And I feel like for, I mean, all over for the most part, you guys will be harmonious. You can be successful. Um, and you, it's all going to be about how you resolve these problems in regards to what we talked about, the conflict, okay? So you're going to have to conversate, have a conversation about the Capricorn be a little warm and cozy. Capricorn's going to need to talk to you a little bit more about being more organized and, you know, responsible practically in the relationship, okay? What, what lies between you? I always feel like you guys will, after you kind of go through this period here of kind of resolving things, it will really be a turning point for you guys. 
Um, and I feel like the relationship will start to turn for the better. And you guys will start to see that this gamble that you guys did in regards to this relationship is really starting to pay off, okay? Um, so that's what lies between you. So it's good fortune. I mean, it's a forecast. So it's for better, not for worse. Depending on what you do with it, it's all about your free will and how you guys are going to operate in a relationship, okay? The cards aren't everything. Now, moving forward in this relationship, so as you guys move forward from this reading, um, the Eight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, it's not the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles in reverse indicates somebody, either you or the other person, um, you know, this is a short-term kind of thing for them, or somebody's irresponsible with money, someone's being extravagant with money, somebody is being um, immature when it comes to money or financial things, and somebody's feeling entitled. So I feel like a bone of contention between the two of you is going to be financial matters and, and how somebody is not doing very well in, in that regard. And I think that's really going to be the crux of a lot of your arguments as you move forward. You know, responsibilities being shirked, things not being done that need to get done. And it might end up being like falling on the Capricorn. Um, well, because I feel you guys are more about like short-term short pleasure, and I get it. I mean, who wants to balance a checkbook? You guys would rather hang out in a field and pick flowers. You know, who wouldn't want to do that? But I feel like, you know, continuing to want to do that is going to be the frustration for the Capricorn because they might kind of feel like their way is fun. Yes, I know that's hard to believe, but... And they might just sense a frustration that you just don't want to do that. And you might get frustrated because a Capricorn doesn't want to spend time smelling the flowers, smelling the roses, okay? So I do feel like this is going to be a real kind of push and pull between you guys. But it just needs work. Uh, I'm going to say what I've been saying in these readings. There's two types of relationships, ones, ones that you work on and ones that you work more on, okay? Have more work to them or you work harder on, okay? So... I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. If you guys want to go more into depth in your relationship and where it's going, click on the Vimeo link below. I'll be throwing down clarifiers. 